a great Good morning everyone. It is currently 10.30. I've been sitting in on meetings since about 9. This is my second meeting of the day. It is an all hands meeting so usually that means my manager or my manager's manager kind of presents different things. We do recognition and stuff like that. I think this might be the first one I've ever explain but yeah most companies have like an all hands monthly or maybe like there's like a manager's manager's all hands and then there's like a manager's 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 all hands i don't know there's like a lot of all hands based on the team but then the higher you go it becomes like more quarterly or like um, maybe a few times a year yeah this one is gonna be monthly with my skip level manager i don't have that much today but i'm actually gonna be attending a conference today which is virtual so that's actually where a lot of my time is probably gonna go today but maybe i can share some of that with you guys yeah i'm basically gonna be sitting in on a lot of them but yeah so after this all hands i have another meeting with my team we're gonna be going over some certified ethical hacking certification materials and if you guys don't remember me talking about that before i'm basically gonna be studying with my team for the certified ethical hacking ch certification i'm not taking it anytime soon but it's mostly just for knowledge purposes only the glasses appointment i'm going to be picking up my classes yeah that's pretty much it oh i'm still going to be working on my assessment before i go so one of the applications that i'm testing for this week i'm trying to get it done today yeah i mean i started it yesterday but i kind of want to get most of the documentation done today so there's about three domains as part of it so normally applications range on average from about one to two but sometimes there can be three to four domains or basically urls that you would be testing and everything that's part of that url is usually in scope so this is a pretty big app compared to the other ones i've had but yeah sometimes it's just like that see so yeah, i'm basically going to be testing that after my ch prep meeting and i'm also eating breakfast eggs and my meeting ended early so i'm hopping on my conference right now this reminds me of my grace hopper virtual conference vlog that i did that really wasn't that great because it was virtual and no one really cared but i swear i'm just gonna show you guys the sessions this time Hey guys, it is currently about 12 o'clock. I've mostly been sitting in on the conference sessions. The one that we just went over was, was attack surface protection. I feel like that one's always a very interesting topic because I know a lot of companies right now are kind of expanding their attack surfaces because of, I mean, everyone's working from home. I think he said there was like a few million or a few hundred thousand RDP or remote desktop servers that were set up just in the past year alone to account for us all working from home so that was pretty interesting and because of that there's also been a lot of vulnerabilities that were found with remote desktop but yeah it was a pretty interesting conversation so yeah i'm really glad i have a chance to attend this conference and there's actually a bunch of different tracks so there's some sessions i want to attend but they're concurring at the same time uh, i wonder i wonder if they record these sessions for later yeah i don't know basically i'm going to be sitting in on most of these i'm still going to be working though like i'm still logged into work the whole day it's just on the side as i'm doing my work i'm also listening in to the sessions it's kind of like multitasking but like you know if something is like really interesting i kind of look over for like 10 minutes or so and then i go back and do my work but in terms of meetings there weren't that many meetings this morning or i say that but there were three meetings but it wasn't they weren't ones that i had to actively be engaged in or like speak in so usually the sit-in ones are a bit more casual and then my security assessments one of them i'm basically almost complete with specifically because it was a smaller app but i have another one that is a bit bigger i told you guys about which is three domains yeah i'm already starting to test two of them and the last one is like the biggest part of the app so i'm waiting a bit to test that one but i'm also getting started with my documentation prepping everything and Oh, another exciting thing is that the person that I shadowed or like kind of like taught me Security Plus is actually going to be moving to another team, which is the digital forensics team, which is the one I told you guys that I might be shadowing. Yeah, I had no idea because he was previously on the ethical hacking team. So I guess he's moving to digital forensics and it's really nice that I, I already kind of know him and I know he's like a good teacher because he also kind of set up the presentation sessions for my rotation program to kind of talk to me about Security Plus. But yeah, it's definitely a huge plus that I already know this person and kind of know like their teaching style. So I'm going to be shadowing him. So until then, I'm going to be kind of learning about what he is going to be doing. 
at the most that he knows since he doesn't join until like later but yeah and then after he gets kind of settled into his team then i'll officially start some shadowing sessions so i'm so so excited to kind of get this started but there are a whole bunch of teams that i will be shadowing and talking to so yeah it's been an exciting few months but also a lot of anxiety inducing things <laughs> because i just feel like i don't know where i'm going but yeah there's other teams that i might be shadowing too but i'll kind of bring those up to you guys as they come but holy crap there's so many teams in cyber security like you would think it's just pen testing hacking there are so many things that i have no idea even exists but yeah definitely keep you guys updated guys we got delivery from costco and look at this papaya what the heck That's more dude show us your face why look how big that papaya is who does this it's half on my body okay you're a little too close right now <laughs> yeah this is our delivery also got um this stuff from multitasking which is a small business i got this lamp it folds up like a spotlight lamp or a lantern and all your stuff comes with instructions it's so cute let me check them out if you guys are looking for like office supplies and stuff she has a bunch of cool stuff and now you guys know why i have so many cavities all right you need to stop eating it how many did you eat already one that's it now go but i am like controlling you because you're gonna eat until you want to throw up all right guys i got my new glasses these are cover girl what do you guys think so my old ones i didn't bring them but they were like light pink frames and they didn't have this like little wing at the edge up here so they were just like grounded but these are kind of like a librarian second grade teacher kind of but i kind of like them they're cute the sauce is so amazing and i'm basically going to be listening into a few more sessions but they end at 12 15 and then tomorrow we will be starting back up at 10 a.m for the keynote and then it actually ends on thursday so it's a three day long conference. Um, I'm still attending like all of my previously planned meetings. But yeah, my plans for the rest of the day are kind of just to do that assessment that I was talking about earlier. I wanna get that one done. I also have to get back to this team about shadowing since they gave me a whole bunch of projects that they're working on and I was gonna decide which one might be more for me to shadow based on like my background, my skill set. So I'm gonna get back to that team today. I'm gonna try to do that. Cause I need to look through all of their slides cause there's definitely a lot of information in those. I also just finished looking through my email after I got back. And then I don't have any other like meetings for today, but tomorrow and Thursday, I just couldn't lighten it up for this conference. So yeah, it's just today that it's gonna be kind of more relaxed a little bit. And yeah, basically gonna be eating this empanada, working on that assessment, getting back to that one team. And then there's definitely one more thing I have to do. And then there are a few more things on my to-do list. I need to double check. But I hope you guys are having a good day so far. I feel like Tuesdays are always like, better than mondays but then you kind of feel like ugh because then monday happened and you're kind of tired or you can get really fired up it's like one or the other today's weather is so nice it's like 80 degrees and so it's kind of nice getting outside kind of feeling like a little sleepy because the weather is so nice but i think i might want to maybe sit outside for a little bit yeah i just really like sitting outside when it's like slightly cloudy in the 70s hey guys my lips always get so dry when i'm just talking to myself virtually wow i feel so blessed right now and also blessed that you guys are here with me my doctor warned me that they would be stronger but after just like turning in them they made me kind of like whoa these are my old glasses they're like super thin pink frames and they're kind of like rounded all right so i took a really quick break you know, I feel refreshed, but yeah, now I'm gonna go into my security go assessment. How about we go for a walk at like 4.30? Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now? For four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah. All right, I can do four minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna work in four minutes. I feel like my head looks so round. Ow. The weather is amazing. We need to get his car's emission checked. Well, these days, you go back to e you really want that uh, Yeah, I mean, you can just order e -fan. It's like a blue butterfly. Where? This weather is amazing, but it feels really good when it's windy out. The breeze and the 80 degrees, but my favorite weather is when it's 75. Chef's kiss. But yeah, I really want to finish the security assessment. 
today. So what I'm right now doing is documentation prep, basically setting up all my documents that I need, going through the actual security like scripts that I have. I got a package that I'm gonna open, but I'm not gonna let myself open it until I finish the security assessment. Cause that's, you know, that's, that's how you do it. What is that called? Reward? Yeah. It's like a reward system you gotta do. But yeah, besides that, I gotta do my scripts. The usual for my security assessments basically do that for all three domains after that i have to finish writing up the report for like the rest of my documentation i mean i also have like other checks that i do on my dirty laptop but i usually do all those for all the apps i have for the week on thursdays yeah since today is tuesday i'm gonna just leave it on thursday because i think that gives me a lot of good spacing in my weeks or like in my days for my security assessments so i don't cram everything into one day i'm sure if i tried really hard to like do everything in the beginning of the week it's possible um especially if you don't have more than like five or six assessments also i think i got a mosquito bite on my ear from, from yesterday and i heard this buzzing noise and i was like what is that and i thought it was just me it was actually a mosquito and then we we ended up killing it It was at like 5 a.m or something it was yeah it was sad so i guess it was not last night but more like this morning gonna do this assessment gonna turn on some lo-fi music because i feel like that's gonna help me concentrate i swear on days like this when the weather's nice it's just hard to concentrate oh let's listen to christmas lo-fi do you guys see that is it like off season i really like this one christmas lo-fi playlist snowy christmas days lo-fi hip-hop jazz hop by fear dog on youtube and I just finished a whole bunch of documentation um, and scans for my security assessments so yeah basically I think I am basically almost just done this one um, I went through two domains so I just have one left so definitely feel pretty good about the last hour or hour and a half but yeah today was just one of those days where it was just work grind not that many meetings but also I completely forgot that there was a conference today because I was like early afternoon morning thing so yeah it, it's actually only like half day so it's not that much but i think tomorrow it's like a little longer but i don't know but yeah i'm just really excited to kind of at least attend this conference even though it's virtual um i definitely do miss in-person conferences if you guys don't know grace hopper is a conference that i go to every year for the past four years so yeah like from the time i was like a junior in college i've always attended even though last year was virtual of course um, I was so grateful to be there and yeah, so I really hope I get to go back this year. Um, I think it is also virtual again, but I just heard that the keynote speaker for the email Grace Hopper is Malala and so blown away, but I also wish it was the US one. Um, I don't really know who the keynote speaker is for that one yet, but um, also I'm getting a phone call. Alright friends, I think I'm going to close out the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday at 2pm and Sundays at 12pm. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. See, that's account with that email. Bye. I feel so energetic now. It, it feels like a Friday because the weather is so nice. But I think I'm going to go take like a oh, really warm up, shower right? or something. I don't know. Okay. Just this one up, still right? kind of leaves marks on my face. Yeah, this is but it doesn't energy. feel yeah. as... I'm tight. I'm still talking even though I said bye, so uh, bye. Let me